Ebola outbreak is raising fears of other suspected cases nationwide, including right here in the metro. KMBC 9's Haley Harrison says one hospital is putting an end to rumors a patient has the virus. The man had one symptom of Ebola and had recently traveled to Nigeria, but a spokeswoman for Research Medical Center says that patient is not suspected of having the virus. And I think if it was something that we should be concerned about, I, I feel that they probably would have said something. The man went to the emergency room at the hospital's Brookside campus and was taken to the main campus Saturday night. He's being treated and is in good condition. Uh, we put on impervious gowns. The University of Kansas Hospital showed us how they're preparing for the virus after a patient showed up in September with Ebola-like symptoms following a trip to Sierra Leone. The most concerning thing about the Ebola virus is no known cure. I mean, you get it, you die. You know, so. I mean, that, that causes concern for everybody. Patients and their families tell us they're confident Metro hospitals will be ready if or when Ebola arrives in Kansas City. I mean, anything's possible, but I, I mean, I, I'm not really that afraid. I think that we have measures here. If, I mean, we have medicine and things like that. If we were in Africa or somewhere like that, I'd be a little more worried. The Centers for Disease Control says Ebola is not spread through casual contact or through the air. Research Medical Center reports they take every precaution to screen and isolate patients suspected of having Ebola and to protect staff and warn the health department. Haley Harrison, KNBC 9 News. Symptoms of Ebola include a fever greater than 101.5, vomiting, diarrhea, and bleeding or bruising. Right now, more than 3,000 people have died from the outbreak. About 200 U.S. troops are already helping Ebola-affected countries. Friday, the Pentagon announced that number could grow to as many as 4,000.